Hey there, Architecti. Gardens have a natural way of soothing a space and hiding a little bit of the imperfection. Can you see them? In this episode, I'm going to show you how I just transformed a small little walkway into a space that you can actually enjoy walking into. So let's get to it. This area was under construction for a while, so as soon as we were done with the cement and dust and everything like that in the nearby rooms, I wanted to take it upon myself to do a light tidying up. So here's the plan, excuse my sketch. The sides of this pathway have rigid triangular shapes. I wanted to add some curves using the materials I already had in hand. Speaking of materials, I was lucky enough to have found some nice composted soil nearby. So I took a tour and took a few buckets and started shoveling. After a second trip for soil, a nice soul came to lend me a hand. Thank goodness. Here's to filling up the space with organic soil. I must also add that you should clear up the area and rig the existing ground before you spread the soil in. This is a great way to work out, I found, but it wipes you out in the end, so beware. See how just adding soil instantly revives the area? Ah, such a lovely feeling, don't you think? I went to my mom's garden and was able to find a few spare areca palms that I will be adding into the composition. These plants love the shade, so be sure to place them somewhere cool and away from direct sunlight. The holes were dug quite deep so that the roots can spread and improve their growths in the future. About a 12 inches or so. Now adding some purple hearts. Purple hearts are forms of succulents and those particularly don't mind being placed in the shade, unlike other succulents of course. I had made a barrel pot and placed them underneath some bamboo trees I had and they were fine, so it should be okay. Apart from the solar exposure, try not to water them too often. This is what I love about these plants, they are hardy and spread easily. But since I want the ground to be covered with this color, I really don't mind them and their attempt to world domination.
One of the ways to propagate purple hearts is by clippings, which is what I'm doing right now. But I won't get into too much of that because I want to make another video about how to propagate these properly. Especially I want to start having my own plants. So I hope you turn on your notification bell for that. A few footages were lost in the filmmaking process when I added the gravel, but I hope you get the idea from the concept to reality. You can make a splashing difference with very little in hand. As always, it's always a pleasure to have you on board and hope to share another video with you soon. Enjoy! Another little note, always give yourself time to go back into nature, whether it's gardening, hiking, or anything that has to do related to nature. A big thanks to my Patreons whose contributions help in making more videos.